A promotional video for a property development in the Rwandan capital Kigali illustrates these ambitions. Skyscrapers instead of slums. The African middle class is looking forward to a bright future. The Muhima CBD is set to be the new commercial hub of Kigali, offering a progressive environment for local and international businesses and financial institutions. The new CBD core in Muhima will be the premier financial zone of Kigali with premium office towers. Mixed-use activities will ensure vibrant streetscapes at all times. A grand central plaza will be the landmark venue for celebratory events. Nyaru Genge, a revitalized district, your home, a place where opportunities are abundant. In the heart of Rwanda, Nyaru Genge, the district of the future, awaits you. Such high-flying dreams can only be realized with a constant supply of affordable electricity. Nuclear energy is the mantra of the African Energy Forum. Africa cannot have any future uh, without enough power. And that's really what we are supposed to look at uh, today. So at a time when nations like Japan and Germany are steering away from nuclear energy generation because of its inherent dangers, the governments of Africa are actively embracing this technology. Are you interested in nuclear? Who's interested in nuclear? Me. Kenya. Kenya. He's the one who prosecutes the project. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll sit and watch you. <laughs> one of the things I like about Eddie is that he's a path breaker, isn't he? Yeah. Right. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> the Germans are shutting down. Yeah. The Japanese the French, are no, throwing no, it into politics. the sea. What is here is all nuclear. <laughs> the Germans are very politics. First of all, they import power from nuclear projects. Yes. You know? And uh, so are the Italians. <laughs> But, but I think the impulse is right. I mean, whether you eliminate them is one thing, but the, I, I don't know, the Germans have done well with renewables already, so maybe they want to do more renewables. Yeah, but the French is different. No, that's true. Yeah. Today, the 48 countries of sub-Saharan Africa use about as much electricity as Spain. But that demand is going to increase tenfold over the next 15 years. Planners say that alternative energy sources like wind or solar power simply can't produce enough electricity to satisfy Africa's needs. This is why 10 African countries are currently looking into the construction of nuclear power plants. We're on our way to Tanzania in East Africa. Tanzania's population is growing rapidly. To satisfy the increasing demand for energy, the country needs more power plants. We drive to Arusha in the north of Tanzania. On our way, we realize just how poor the country is. 30% of its people live below the poverty line. Outside the big cities, there's no water supply and no electricity infrastructure. Nevertheless, the Tanzanian industrial sector is one of the fastest growing in Africa. And it could do even better if it weren't for the constant power cuts. A problem the Tanzanian Atomic Energy Commission wants to solve by building nuclear power plants. 